Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over Jom Gabar and how it is overrated and it actually performs quite a bit better than Earthstrike, uh, more than you'd expect. In fact, uh, you know, what we're going to show you today with the spreadsheet suggests that Jom Gabar is going to be two times the upgrade that you might expect. Instead of only being about a 28% increase over Earthstrike, instead it would be actually closer to a 50% increase when you consider uh, using Jom Gabar with your Adrenaline Rush, your Blade Flurry, and your Thistle T. So when you do stack all those cooldowns together, the value of Jom Gabar is going to increase more than the value of Earth Strike increases when you use those abilities. So let's go through it. So first of all, at the top of the spreadsheet, and of course, everything is going to be in the description. So check out the, the spreadsheet link there. You can follow along. You can see this is just the basics of how Jom Gabar works. You start the fight with 65 attack power and it ramps up 65 attack power every two seconds. And of course it lasts 20 seconds. Uh, now the average attack power over the duration is about 360. And that's how we get that 28% increase over Earth Strike. If we just look at, you know, a basic average increase in attack power. Now, uh, the average attack power of Jom Gabar, you can split off into the first five seconds and the last 15. And that's because in the last 15 seconds, we're gonna be using Adrenaline Rush and Blade Flurry. And in the first five seconds, we're not gonna be using any, any additional cooldowns. So you can see that you actually are gaining three times more attack power in the last 15 seconds than in the first five. So while the average for Jom Gabar isn't crazily higher than than Earth Strike, you start to realize that the the vast majority of the reason why there isn't that big of a difference is because the first five seconds, you know, it's it's kind of a dud. But when you realize that you're not going to be using cooldowns in those five seconds, uh, it's not as big of a deal that those those initial seconds you're not doing as much damage. So let's let's model out like an example fight, and we can approximate the value difference between Jom Gabar and Earth Strike you know, when, you, when you're looking at a fight. So feel free to alter these numbers uh, as you go along. For now, I have auto attacks being 60% of our damage and abilities being 40%. Now, uh, Adrenaline Rush is going to increase our damage by 100% for our abilities only. That's just, I mean, pretty obvious, right? Uh, if you have doubled energy, you're gonna get double the output, uh, roughly, right? Uh, then we have uh, Blade Flurry. That's gonna increase our attack speed by 20%. And we're, we're assuming single target for, for this purpose. Um, but it would be obviously even better for Jom Gabar uh, if, if you had a cleave fight, it would be you know quite a bit better. But uh, you're gonna see that uh, our total damage comes up to 152%. So this is the number we're gonna be using. We're going to be uh, proceeding uh, with the number that 52% increased damage is going to be coming out during your cooldowns and therefore any attack power gains that you you gain during these you know this cooldown window where you have blade flurry and adrenaline rush up any attack power gains are going to be roughly 52% times more important and this can be simply explained by obviously however much attack power is benefiting your auto attack It'll benefit it, you know, 12% more when you have Blade Flurry up. Any amount uh, you're benefiting, uh, your attack power is benefiting your abilities, you're going to gain twice that value during that effect. And while auto attacks and abilities don't scale exactly the same with attack power, auto attacks scale a little bit better, uh, it's it's very small difference. And for our purposes today, we're going to be operating with the you know the number that 52% increased damage during those final 15 seconds. So when we're approximating how much value we're actually going to gain from Earth Strike when we use it uh, with our cooldowns, you're going to see that in the first five seconds with no cooldowns, Earth Strike is going to give us 70 attack power. That's because it's one quarter of the fight. And this is pretty expected, right? The first five seconds of Earth Strike, you'd expect to get one quarter of the value. So that's nice and simple. Now the last 15 seconds are where things get interesting. That's where we apply the 1.52 cooldown weight. So that means any attack power gains that we 
we get during these last 15 seconds are going to be 1.5 times uh, more valuable. And so that ends up boosting the attack power value of Earth Strike. Instead of increasing our attack power by just the flat 280, it is more accurately going to be worth 390 attack power uh, you know, with, with these percentages that we're, that we're going with. Now we're going to look at John Gabar, and this is where things get, you know, pretty interesting, right? Because John Gabar scales really well in those last 15 seconds. So you're going to see in the first five seconds, John Gabar actually really isn't doing much here. Uh, and in fact, Earth Strike is two times better in the first five seconds. Uh, and it's not until the last 15 seconds that John Gabar really you know, really shines. And that's because the average attack power is 440, you know, approximately. And, you know, with that, with that increased cooldown weight, there's a big increase uh, to the value of Jom Gabar. So if we just stop right there, you'll see that the approximate value of the attack power is going to be 537 for uh, the Jom Gabar in 390 for Earth Strike. And so if we do some percentages, you're going to see we started at a 28% increase from Earth Strike to Jom Gabar, and we're now at a 38% increase from Earth Strike to Jom Gabar. So you already are getting about 10% more attack power than just the, the direct average might suggest uh, when you consider Adrenaline Rush and Blade Flurry. But we have to include Thistle T. Now, calculating Thistle T is a little tricky because it's not going to be super easy to just, you know, take a percent of our damage and just, you know, know how much it's going to be contributing. But what we can do uh, is we know that Adrenaline Rush is 160 energy. And we know that Thistle T is 100 energy. So we can make a ratio to approximate uh, how the attack power is going to be scaled when we use our Thistle T. And so we're going to be going with a weight of 0.25 uh, that is, you know, calculated based on the ratio of Thistle T to Adrenaline Rush being 100 and 160 energy. So what that means is when we are using our Thistle T, we're going to take the attack power uh, that the trinket gives us. We're going to multiply by 0.25, and that is going to be the additional amount of attack power that we are benefiting uh, when we use our Thistle T, the increased value of attack power uh, when we're using these trinkets. So uh, we gain 70 attack power worth of value just by Thistle Teeing during our Earth Strike. Uh, but Jom Gabar, on the other hand, right, because it is such a massive increase, assuming that you pull off your Thistle T in the last four seconds, which is, you know, pretty fair, especially for daggers, pretty fair to be able to pull off uh, all those abilities in the, in the last four seconds and get that T off. It's going to be an average attack power of 617.5 if you can manage to get it off in those last four seconds. And so with our weight of 0.25, it's going to increase the attack power that we gain from Jom Gabor approximately by 154 attack power. And so when we uh, include these calculations, right, and we, we add in 154 to our original total of 536, and we add in 70 to our original total of 389, you're going to see that our increases go to John Gavar having an average of about 700 attack power uh, when you actually stack it up with your cooldowns, and Earth Strike having an approximate value of 460. Now, there are some approximations and some rough numbers uh, as we're going through here, but what's important is that the attack power ratio remains the same. So it doesn't really matter if uh, we're including, you know, we're, we're not really thinking about poison. It doesn't really matter if we're not thinking about different procs that scale because uh, Earth Strike is also not going to scale with those procs, just like Jom Gabar isn't going to scale with those procs. What's important is that for the, you know, the amount of attack power that's actually going to end up scaling and improving our character damage, uh, Jom Gabar is going to be providing 50% more attack power uh, in a 20 second interval when we use our cooldowns of Adrenaline Rush, Blade Flurry, and Thistle T. So I just wanted to share this with you guys so you realize that you know maybe it's not as 
uh, close to Earth Strike as you might think. And it's definitely a super fun trinket, a lot of fun to try and make the most out of and time your abilities. I didn't even mention that uh, while you are using Jom Galbar, you can actually squeeze out a little more value by trying to wait to the last minute uh, to use your abilities right before your energy is about to tick, as that would adjust the average value of Jom Galbar. And so if you're uh, only using your abilities at the last possible moment, you know, instead of maybe the average being 350, maybe it's a whole Jom Gabar tick higher, right? And, and so there's a lot of little things you can do with the trinket to increase your damage. It's a ton of fun. I'd suggest you guys, uh, if you can get Jom Gabar, try and get it. But obviously there's going to be other items in AQ that are going to be more important for uh, improving your raid DPS. So I would not take this video and, you know, take Jom Gabar over Death Sting or anything but just something to, to keep in mind. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you guys next time.